Nielsen from uh, Maryland, and so he couldn't be here to perform it, but we thought it was important and relevant, so I'm going to try to do it justice. And I apologize since it's not my own, that it's not memorized, so. Wahigru ji ka khansa, Wahigru ji ki fateh. 1984. Invasion, attack, destruction, massacre on the streets, capture, torture, rape, disappearance, murder, secret cremations. This is the 1984 we remember. Thousands of widows, orphans, refugees, and burned neighborhoods left behind. And nothing strong enough to wash out the memories. With all the pain and suffering we struggled to cope, you'd think by now we'd have given up hope. With the guilty roaming free and no justice in sight, you'd think we'd be dejected and lost in our fight. With the path to justice in a miserable state, you'd think we'd be filled with anger and hate, but I'm not. You see, after 30 years, I'm done mourning. See, 1984 was a horrific travesty, but it lit a fire of inspiration within me the handful of Singhs who fought bravely, I praise they held the might of the Indian army for days. They fought with courage and valor in an all-out war. They held the fort and gave their lives like the Singhs at Chamkor. Maybe I'm supposed to feel sad and cry. But I feel proud of my sisters who were raped and now held their head high. I remember and pay homage to those who are now gone, but I get strength from the widows who picked up and moved on. I no longer think about the government's wrath, but I think about the thousands who took Amrith to follow the Guru's path. This is the 1984 I remember. Rather than wallow in misery and sadness, I'm empowered by the stories of courage and bravery. Each drop of blood that spilled in June and November gave breath to a new generation of saint soldiers who refuse to remain silent. Activists, poets, MCs, and the like, armed with a sword or a pen or a mic, the Guru has raised us to be called so strong, to fight through adversity as though nothing is wrong. So we gotta stop singing this victim song because we are not defeated. The Guru has blessed us with the gift of his name. No Sikh should hold their head in shame. No, we are not defeated. See, the attack on Darbar Sahib wasn't meant to just kill Sikhs. It was meant to kill Sikhi, to break our spirits. So if it is our sikhi they tried to destroy, if it is our spirit they tried to break, then it is our spirit we must preserve. It is our sikhi that we must strengthen. See, they tried to keep us down and keep us torn, but we are the people who are spirit born. They tried to suppress our will and keep us chained, but the flow of the Khalsa cannot be contained. Unbreakable soldiers of the Khalsa Panth, inspired and guided by the Guru Granth, warrior poets armed with a dagger, sons and daughters of a king, so we walk with a swagger. They tried to put our flame out, but we set it ablaze. I express my solidarity with this fist that I raise, and if you don't understand, then I'll try to rephrase. Justice delayed is justice denied in the struggle for justice. Justice, there is no compromise. We will separate the truth from the lies. And if you don't believe us, then look at our eyes, for the Khalsa is here, and we shall rise. Woo!